You're very welcome in Christ to our new church, which I am in the process of decorating now, as you can see. Uh, I'm building the iconostasis, and uh, Shaggy has come here to, uh, to say hello. Hello from all the Syrian, Orthodox, Antioch, Orthodox people who are living right across the diaspora in Europe. And of course, here in Ireland, we're, uh, we're developing we're developing our parish church. Now, in this parish church, we have two Orthodox communities. We have our own, the Antiochian Orthodox, but we're also looking after the Georgian Orthodox people as well, who are in Ireland. And there is a history, a long history between the Orthodox Church of Antioch and, of course, the Orthodox Church of Georgia. So, we're combined while we're here in Ireland. <laughs> if you see here, you'll see the tricolour, which is the Irish flag. Yes. Especially 
for our altar. And if you look over to your left, you will see that that is replicated on the table of preparation for the proscomedia. So, if you look up here, there's um, an, a beautiful arched window, which Father David, the parish priest, Father David Lonergan, wishes to have um, an icon, a big, large icon of the ascension of Christ there. Um, currently, our parish in, in Dublin consists of six Antiochian Orthodox people, Dublin people, and the rest are made up of Georgian, Latvian, Serbian. <laughs> There's a real mishmash of people who come to us. You might ask why uh, there are so few Dublin people. Well, the Dublin people, contextually, Dublin people have suffered terribly in the recent past. Um, and so now they are looking for authentic Christian spirituality, which I believe we as Antiochian Orthodox people can give to the genuine Dublin seeker of Christ. But up to now we weren't able to really establish our parish because we had not got this church. We hadn't a solid base for people to come to. But now, thanks be to Jesus Christ, we have this beautiful church which has been given to us by the Carmelite order. The order of Carmelite. They are monks and they live on the grounds here and they have allowed us to develop rooms in the basement for people to learn about their religion, to have a meal, to learn about to, to learn the English language. We have built all these now um, and they're almost ready to be painted as well. I am excited about the prospects of our pastoral intervention in, in Dublin at this time. We help people to find Christ. And in that way, Christ does the rest. There are many, many Dublin people who are very interested in becoming Orthodox. And there are very many inquiries. But, as you know, Rome was not built in one day. It took a thousand years. Thanks be to Christ, we are representing his kingdom here on terra firma. So please God, with your prayers and ours for you, Christianity is going to be born anew in Europe. God bless. Thank you, Father.